Wait. I got one. No way. Oh, it's a good one. No way. I got one. There he is. That's a dang good one. Freaking huge. What's poppin' folks? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content. We got the $10 budget kit fishing challenge today that we're gonna be rocking with. It's been a while since I've done a Walmart video, so we are going to try to do it today. I said that's so weird. I have no idea why I said it like that. We're gonna try to do this today and uh, have a good time. So anyways, we're gonna go ahead and open this kit, see so what we got inside, and then we're gonna go fishing, try to catch some bass. Let me show you guys exactly where we're fishing today because a lot of you know exactly where I'm at. It's been a while since I've been here. Okay, so about, I'd say probably six months ago, I filmed a video at a drain pond. They were draining this pond. Well, I was gonna come back and do a fish rescue. I heard from two people that they're not gonna be draining the pond. Well. They're actually not, and the pond is back to normal now. It was super low. They actually drained almost all the water out of this thing, and I'm sure it killed a ton of fish. I hate that, um, but I don't really know the reasoning on why they did it, but they ended up clearing out a bunch of this land over here. I'm assuming they're gonna be building some houses on it, but I'm still very confused at why they drained the water in this pond because I really don't see the reason why they did it. If anybody knows the answer, please drop it down below. But we're gonna be trying to fish here today. I'm actually curious to see how it fishes because it used to be a good pond, then all of a sudden they drained it and then it got really tough. Like I came out here for like five hours one day, had one bite. So I really don't know what to expect today, but it's gonna be a fun video. So we're gonna try out this bass fishing kit and go fish this area that was previously destroyed a couple months ago and in hopes of trying to catch a fish. So this is gonna be a hard one. I'm not gonna lie, this is legit gonna be the $10 challenge it might be a little tough so let's go ahead and hop into it let's go ahead and open this kit see what we got and catch fish let's get it so here we go right here we got the ten dollar budget bass fishing kit let's go ahead and open this bad boy up we just gonna slide right down there slide right down there okay let's see what we got today man let's see what we got in this bass fishing kit okay Wow, okay, we got a bunch of different stuff all sorted in this kit. Let's go over here and get a little bit of sun on this joker. Is that better? Can't tell if that's better or not. Yeah, that's better. Let me wipe you off real quick. Is that good? Is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay, so anyways, right here we got a little natural color Sanko. This is watermelon red. Right here we got a dirty water Sanko. This is June bug. Then we got a green pumpkin, little tiny finesse worm. That would actually be really good on a drop shot. Then we got a long curly tail worm that looks like it's in, honestly, it looks like a plum, but it's like a very dark plum. That's a good little color. Then we got a watermelon seed lizard, and then we got a watermelon seed smaller Sanko. These are some greasy boys, man. There's some greasy baits. And then we have, it looks like we got about five or six EWG hooks right here. Those look like they're three aught. Um, let's look on the front. We got three three out hooks and two four out hooks. Okay. And one thing I do not see in this kit, which I'm very disappointed in, is I don't see any weights. Um, yeah, there's no weights. That is kind of ridiculous, to be quite honest with you. If I was going to buy a budget bass fishing kit, like I'm an avid, avid bass fisherman, and looking upon somebody who's getting into bass fishing and going and buying one of these kits just to save a little bit of money and get a little bit of the tackle, I'm gonna be honest with you, I cannot believe that they put no lead weights in here. And lead weights are one of the cheapest things they could possibly put in this box. So I'm very confused by that. Come on, Yum, what are you doing here? Um, in your next kit, you definitely need some uh, lead weights. That's a big suggestion. I have no idea why they didn't do that. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and rig up one of these hooks right here. I think I'm gonna put on the four aught and um, then pick out one of these baits and go fishing with it. It looks like we're gonna be using everything weightless today. See these Sankos like this right here, this right here, and this right here will be good weightless. But when you go over to like the little tiny trick worm, one, this is gonna be really hard to throw. When you go over to the long curly tail worm, it's better to Texas rig that with a weight. And then the same thing with the lizard. Man, I'm a little confused on this challenge, but look at, let's go ahead and look at the water clarity real quick and see what uh, color that we need to pick out. All right, it does look, oh my God, look at the shad. Yo, oh my God. Look at that big ball of shad. I don't know if you guys see that. There's two huge, just big balls of bait right there. Wow, okay, okay. Well, if they're still fishing here, they have a lot of bait to eat, so they should get a little fat. 
The water does look a little stained and always a rule in thumb is when you're fishing stained water or dirtier water, you wanna use a darker color. So with this bass fishing kit, this darker plum would honestly work perfect or this Junebug Sanka would work phenomenal. So when you're fishing clear water, you wanna go with more of your watermelon seeds and your watermelon reds and your green pumpkins. Those are all the clear water colors, but these two are gonna be a little bit better in stained water. So it's dark color, stained water, black and blue, black and red, Junebug, all stained water colors if you're going clear water what well, like i said watermelon green pumpkins all work perfectly fine so we have our ewg hook right here we have our sanka we're going to go ahead and rig this up so all you got to do is you're going to go through the head of the bait right here just like that then you're going to break through just like that slide your bait to the front of the hook and when you get about right here you're going to rotate your bait towards the point of the hook so you see how I just buried that over the island? Now we're gonna lay our Sanko on the hook and where this back piece of the hook is, that is exactly where we're gonna penetrate the bait. Just like that. And now lastly, we don't want this front of the hook exposed. So we're gonna slightly tuck her into the bait. And right there, we got a weedless, weightless Sanko. And this thing is a bass fishing slayer, I'm not gonna lie. I love fishing Sankos weightless because one, usually Sankos have a little bit more weight to them, especially if you buy some that have a lot of salt and um, you're gonna be able to cast them out there. Like if I was throwing this little tiny trick worm on this weightless hook, it's gonna be pretty hard to cast. It's gonna be better on like a little shaky head or a drop shot. Um, but for right here, this is gonna actually be perfect. So let's go ahead and start fishing. I think I'm just gonna leave my kit. Let's go ahead and walk around this pond and see some of the areas. This pond lays out totally different, like I said, since they've drained it. So I'm just very curious. We should probably grab an extra Sanko before I just leave this kit over here. Okay, I think we're gonna grab we're, we're gonna grab a watermelon red just to have something different. I think that is good. I think that is good. Close her up. All right, let's get the fishing. All right, so we have this end of the lake that we could fish um, and then we could throw around this whole bridge right here. But I kind of want to go fish this side of the lake. So we're gonna go ahead and walk over that way. When we come back to the box, we might throw around this bridge a good bit. I fished this bridge a ton and like pitching around the pilings with like some slow moving baits like this. And I just haven't had any luck. I don't know why. It's a little weird because when you see a bridge like this, especially right now where it's 100 degrees every day, usually there should be a fish on it. But I just have never had any luck. Maybe them draining the pond uh, got some fish to start hanging out over there. I don't know. But we got a little bit of grass on the bank. I like that. I think we're going to pitch around that. Um, some There could be some bass hiding that in the shade. But uh, let's go ahead and get the fish and we're going to walk on this end, see what we can catch. Wait, I got one. No way. Wait, that actually feels like a good one. Wait a second, boys. There's no way. Oh, it's a good one. No way. It's a freaking, oh. Oh my God. First fish, there's no way. One of his eyes are looking all types of crazy. Yo, no freaking way we just caught one right away. Maybe this pond gotten a little better the fish seems a little hyper all right bud let's go man when i flopped him up on the bank he looked like he's about three and a half look at that fish man the first fish today man that is a good bass right there look at his eye on this side he's completely blind on that side he's got like a little gold layer look at that beautiful fish man beautiful bass solid two and a half two and three quarter pound fish and uh that is insane guys we haven't even been fishing long 
I was surprised that I caught that in here. We're gonna keep on fishing and see if we can catch some more, but that is insane, man. I was not expecting to catch that in this pond, especially after they drain all the water. That is so good. Let's go. Let's get this guy back in the water. That was a good fish. Look at his eye. That is, that is actually so cool. Man, what a good bass. Solid high two number, quality fish. I thought he was small at first and I was like, wait a second. This fish is a lot bigger than I think. Let's go guys, that was awesome. That was so cool to catch a fish like that at a place I haven't been to in a while, especially after they drained it. Man, let's try to catch another one. I actually never felt that bite either. He just loaded up on that sucker. And uh, that is the first fish today on the June bug Sanko weightless. I think we're gonna continue to throw it because like I said, I thought this pond was gonna be very tough. And for us to catch one like that right away, that is freaking goals now. That's freaking goals now. See if there's another fish over there. That was a freaking good one. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit about how I'm gonna work this bait starting off. You know, I like to adjust throughout the day depending on how the fish want it. Um, we just caught that first fish. I was throwing it how I would usually throw a weightless Sanko and pretty much is I, I picked some cover out. So I know right here in this corner, there's a bunch of grass on the bank and then there's a pipe right there. So I pretty much threw it about five foot off the bank right where it drops off. And um, that's exactly where that bass was sitting. So when I throw the bait out there, I just kind of let it sink, hit the bottom. And all I do is I slightly just drag that thing. That's all I'm doing with that weightless Sanko. I'm not over here. I got another one. Oh my God, no way. No way, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. You got me a little excited now. All right, now. She almost sucked me off. All right, let's throw it back in there. He was right in that corner. Anyways, I'm working it very slow. That's that's the trick of the weightless Sanko. You don't want to work this thing fast. You just want to barely move it. That is a trick. There's a lot of grass in this pond. This bait is perfect for it. There seems to be more fish in this corner. So I'm gonna sit here. I'm gonna make multiple casts parallel to that grass. See if we can get another fish to come out and eat. Man, this is a good little start. Okay. Okay. She's looking a little snaky over here. I don't like snakes. This is like the snakiest stuff I could be walking through right now. All right, so that spot didn't really work out too well. I mean, we had a couple bites. Um, you know, we caught that good one, but we're gonna be heading to some new ponds. We're gonna drive to a couple more, so I'll catch you guys there. So we just made it out to the second spot that we're gonna be trying out today. I haven't been to this spot in probably a year and a half. It's been quite a long time, and this spot used to be a little clear, and today, it is looking a little stained. I'm not gonna lie. It's looking a little, a little weird. So we're gonna try it out and uh, see what we can get going. But um, I have caught some good fish in here. I know there's some good fish, good bass that are swimming around in this place. Like I said, I haven't been here in a while, so we're gonna find out. Let's go ahead and rig up, and get out there. All right. So we're actually gonna switch. Up. What in the world? That is not paint, bro. That is not paint, bro. There's no way that's paint, bro. Is that mud or paint? It's gotta be mud. There's no way that's paint, bro. Is that paint? Okay. You cannot tell me that's paint now. I don't think that's paint. I pray that's not paint. I'm going to have to hose that off. Look at that. Oh my God. It honestly looks like paint. I don't think it is though. It might just be some nasty mud. It's always something, man. Well, we're obviously not going to be handling that now. Um, we caught a fish on this June bug Sanko. So I'm actually going to go ahead and take this off and try something new here. I was going to try like one of the watermelons or the green pumpkins or even the watermelon red. But with this place being so much more stained than it usually is, I'm actually going to put on this like darker plum color um, and see if we can get something going with this. This water used to not be stained here. And so I didn't know, I didn't know. And I know exactly where I got all this stuff on my truck too. I like went through a little working zone. That is bad, man. I'm just praying that that's not paint. It's obviously not paint if it's coming off like that, right? <laughs> my luck, man. I have, the, I have about the worst luck out of anybody you'll ever meet. 
but um we're gonna run that worm right there like i said i wish i had a weight but they didn't put any weights in this kit so i'm just gonna leave this in the car if we need something else we'll come back all right let's go ahead and get this started it says danger alligators no swimming or boating okay it doesn't say no fishing so we're oh my god okay gotta watch out all right let's go ahead and get this started like i said the water is usually not like this let's throw this worm in the water and see what we got going gosh it's gonna we're gonna have to work this so slow i actually might try to like twitch it i'm not sure let's throw off the end of this pipe there should be a fish there we're just gonna let it sink to the bottom really slow i just never throw a worm like this weightless so this is gonna be interesting All right, we gotta switch up again. Man, I, uh, I'm just really disappointed that they didn't put weights in this box. <laughs> I'm very disappointed in that, man. Very disappointed. We're gonna take off this worm. It's just so, like, like this bait would kill him right now. It's, but you cannot get it to the bottom. Especially with this tail, it takes it like a year to sink. So I'm actually gonna go back with the Junebug Sanko again, cause I really wanna see this pond's full potential, whether the fish just aren't biting or I am not getting the bait where I need to get it, or I'm throwing the wrong bait maybe. So we're gonna hook up this Junebug Sanko again. We had some luck on it at the beginning, very basic. And uh, see if we can catch one on it. I walked around the whole pond already. Um, what I did with that big worm, I tried letting it sink. I skipped it under the dock a few times. Uh, I walked all the way around the pond, was kind of twitching it along the edges, kind of, kind of like a fluke. But I mean, the biggest thing, is fish, this, this actually has some decent water in it. These fish are going to be on the drop off. I mean, they're not going to be on the banks where there's no cover. There's a few pipes along the bank and then there's a dock and that's all there is. And I will tell you, like I skipped under that dock twice. I let the bait sink all the way to the bottom. Didn't have any bites. Um, so this fish have to be out in the middle where it's a little bit deeper, where it tapers off out there. And this Sanko, you know, I can at least get it out there. It has a little bit of weight to it. I got one. There he is. That's a dang good one. Freaking huge. Oh my God. Right there on the Senko, second cast. This fish is fighting so hard. Oh my God, it's a three pounder. Oh yes. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that. <clears throat> oh, he threw my Senko in the water. Yes. That is bigger than our first one. That is an easy three pounder. Let's go. Let's freaking go, man. Come on now. Let's go. Three pound bass all day long. All right, guys, solid three pounder right there. We're going to get her in the water. I'm actually going to walk out on this pipe. Let's freaking go, guys. Let's go. That's awesome. Look at that fish, man. That's a good one. Oh, he's already ready. Good freaking fish. Now, let's keep her going now. Let's keep her going. All righty, so we're going to leave this place. I had a lot more bites. I had like three or four more bites after that good fish, and... I don't know, I just could not get any pins. So we're gonna actually go to another spot now. I'm thinking about going to my backyard pond and giving it a revisit since I haven't in a while because I think we can catch a pretty decent fish in there. You know, it's really tough, but you know, we might be able to pick up one or two like the ones that we've caught today because I will say, we haven't caught many fish today, but the ones we've caught have been good. So we're gonna drive to the next spot, see what we can do. Yo, changing plans. We're not going to my house. I have a really cool idea, and if it works, it's going to be one of the coolest clips of the year. So we're going to go ahead and go down to this pond. Just wait. This is going to be insane. If we hook it, it's going to be a big one. If we can pull it off, it's going to be amazing. So let's go give it a shot. All right, guys. I hope we can pull this off. It's going to be a freaking giant. You guys know in the summertime, bass are hiding up in the shade. And there's just a little tiny shallow corner over here. It's got a pipe in it, okay? I'm gonna throw a couple casts in the front of it just to make sure I don't spook any. There should be a bass up in this pipe. We just gotta get the perfect cast. And we might have us a five pounder on the line. Perfect. Perfect. Uh oh, there's water coming out hopefully. Hopefully there's not a fish swimming out of that.
can't tell me there's not a fish in. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, no. One of the hardest bites I've ever had. Oh my god. There's another fish that just swam out of it too. Gosh. Oh my gosh. One of the hardest bites I've had all year. That might have been my hardest bite I've ever had. The way he hit that felt like he just chopped my line right off my rod. Oh my gosh.